Hello, welcome to Mini Orange. Today we are going to set up single sign-on for WordPress using Google App as an identity provider. First, log in to your WordPress admin account and go to the menu bar from the left-hand side and click on Plugins. Now click on the Add New button. From here search for SAML. Now install the Mini Orange plugin for single sign-on. After successful installation click on Activate. Now from the Service Provider Setup tab, select Google App as your IDP. Click here to open the setup guide. Now let's configure Google Apps as an IDP. First sign in to your Google App admin account. Now go to the Apps tab and click on the web and mobile apps. Under Add App drop down select Add Custom SAML App. Now enter the application name. Now enter the description as per your choice. Scroll down and click on the Continue button. You can use these endpoints to configure the SAML SSO plugin. We will complete these steps in the video ahead. For now, you can scroll down and click on the Continue button. Now we need to enter the plugin endpoints. Notes, all the required endpoints should start with HTTPS. Now provide the ACS URL from the Service Provider Metadata tab of the Mini Orange SAML SSO plugin. Copy the ACS URL. Paste the value in the ACS URL field. Again go back to the Mini Orange plugin and copy the entity ID URL. Go back to the Google App Portal and paste the value in the Entity ID field. Enable the checkbox for signed response. Scroll down to select the name ID format and click on the drop-down list to select the email. Click on the Continue button. You can also add more attributes by clicking on Add Attributes Mapping button. Now click on the drop-down list and select the corresponding attribute. Type the app attribute name as the first name. Again click on the drop-down list and select the corresponding attribute. Type the application attribute name as the last name. Scroll down and select the group's membership information that can be sent in the SAML response if the user belongs to any of the groups you add here. Type the attribute name. Click on the Finish button. Now click on the User Access tab to change the service status on for everyone. Click on Save button. Your service status update successfully. Go to your configured app. Select the Download Metadata options and click on Download Metadata XML files. This will download the metadata file. Navigate back to your Mini Orange SAML SSO plugin. Then Service Provider Setup tab. To configure the service provider click on Upload IDP Metadata. Now enter the identity provider name. Upload the downloaded IDP metadata file. Your identity provider details are saved successfully. To test the configuration, scroll down and click on the Test Configuration. You have successfully configured the Google app with the WordPress site. Now let's see how to add a Mini Orange login button. Navigate to Redirection and SSO Links tab. To add a single sign-on button on the WordPress login page enable the toggle. Your setting update is successfully. Now open your WordPress login page in a new incognito window to test the SSO button. Click on the Login with Google App. You will be redirected to the Google App login page sign in with your Google App credentials. Congratulations you have successfully logged into your WordPress using Google App as an IDP. If your theme supports widgets you can also use a widget to add an SSO login link. Check out our premium version of the plugin which includes features like, attribute, role mapping, auto redirect to IDP, single logout, many more, and, add-ons like, Scheme, Azure, Salesforce Sync, Page Restriction, SSO Login Audit, etc.
Thank you for watching the video.